Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, this is Alan Paul. I've had a couple of people ask some questions in regards to the Atlantid multi-tool and apparently a lot of people are getting confused between the autophages and their camps and finding staff weapons and uh, upgrading these staff weapons to indicate that these are the new Atlantid multi-tools. That is literally one type of multi-tool. So as you see here, as I pop in and into the game, you can see I'm holding one of these staff weapons. This is my classic one I love to run around with because, well, frankly, let's be, let's be clear, folks. It looks pretty freaking cool, right? Anyway, that's not the multi-tools we're talking about, though. When we're talking about Atlantid multi-tools, we're talking about these specialized multi-tools that you're going to see in here. For instance, this one right here. This multi-tool, as we get a quick close-up of it, is very different from any of the other multi-tools you've seen. It is only got, you can only get these at a monolith, at one of the big ancient monoliths. That's the only place you can find these. So this is not the, the multi-tool we're talking about in some of the videos that you've seen. Uh, pardon me, the staff is not the one that we're talking about in some of the videos you've seen. This is the one that we're talking about. These are the multi-tools that have the specialized location inside here that's called the runic lens that I have supercharged in this. This one's a special one. I am looking for a better one that has a four square, um, which is why I'm you know, currently on a planet looking for this stuff. Now the planet I currently am on, let me go ahead and jump back out here to the discoveries area, is this little planet. Now I did not name this. I discovered this planet. It literally is named Nope X10. I have no idea. Um, that's a random name. And I discovered the system yesterday. This particular planet is a uh, in in a, in this system here in the Eisentum galaxy, and happens to have dissonance detected. You don't necessarily need that at all. It just happens to be a decent planet. But the system I'm in is a Corvax system, and that's what's in, what's key. That's the key point here. So you want to have a Corvax system first of all. Any Corvax system will work. Doesn't make a difference what star quality it is. Uh, what GF quality it is, entering that nonsense. What you do need to do is you need to look for those ancient monoliths. So what I have in my inventory here is I have a few of these left planetary charts. Use this to find yourself an ancient monolith. Now you may have to use it a few times, but it'll tell you a monolith is found. There we go. Um, is it this one? Let me just see. Uh, there it is. So this monolith is what we're looking for, and I'll show you what you need to find at these monoliths. And frankly, I thought there were videos out about this, but I guess we haven't really addressed it as much. I will be addressing it in my series, but uh, I figured we'd do a quick short video about this since we're getting questions on it. A lot of people think we're just using staff weapons. We're not. We're using these Atlantid multi-tools. So let me swing in here real quick and show you. Okay. And, you know, they may differ a little bit when you get to certain places here. Well, look at that. I happen to have one of those guys next to me, too. Yeah. One of the dissonant... Uh, one of our... Yeah, dissonant resonators, yes. With a fleet of lovely people there. So, what you're looking for is one of these that have these three knowledge stones around it. One. Two. I'm not going to show it to you yet. And three, right? So I'm getting the words anyway because I'm trying to learn as many of the Corvax words as possible. But it, but when you come over here, you see this purple glow? There's a fourth stone right here, the discordant interface. Select it, and you only find this in a Corvax system again. You add in some Atlantidium, and it kicks you out. Now what you can do, you'll see everything changes on this. And it gets really, really cool and awesome looking. You can go here and do the... Uh, memories and if you know enough of the autophage words it will uh, give you something here it'll give you a new message this one says accept your destiny time will something us all I don't have all the words yet I feel deep itching in my arms it's just like any of the other big monoliths that you go through and you see it's pretty neat stuff embrace decay I, I'm gonna go ahead and embrace let's just see what happens I don't think there's any wrong answers. And yeah, this one just gave me a rare item too. That happens on occasion. I get rare items. That's my starship. Uh, like I got this at one place. I'm getting this someplace else. 
Um, occasionally, it gives me other items. It even gave me some upgrades on occasion, which is pretty neat. Um, really, really cool. But then, as if you go back to here, and you can do this right after you added the Atlanta DM in, interface close, inspect the technology, and guess what you have here? You have one of these multi-tools, and it comes with the runic lens. So... This is a C-Class, and it happens to have one of the charge slots on it, so that's pretty neat. You could get this. You can upgrade it at the space station, hence the reason why you have so many nanites, or you try to get as many as you can, because you don't know where the other slots are going to appear. But I'm looking for one that's a 4-slot or an S-Class, something like that. I found B and A-Classes here on this planet, and I'm still looking. But anyway, that is where you find these multi-tools, and that is the multi-tools you're looking for with the runic lens on them. So, anyway, this is just a quick video to help you out. Hopefully this answers all your questions. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you again in another video. Take care, everybody.